And since we're doing a cripple, we'll make them just a little bit shorter than what they should be, which is one and a half to two times the length of the hook shank. And we'll get down here. And we'll do splay them out just a little bit. And we'll do a figure eight through them, just like what we did before. Take a turn underneath everything and lift up. And if they're not quite mangled enough, just take your fingernail, kind of stroke it through there. Add some curl to them, guys. Have them curl in one way and the other one curl in another way. And if you happen to break a tip off, all the better. And now we're ready to tie in the body. The body material we're going to be using is D-Rib. Even though my choice is to use D-Rib, you can also use microtubing, dubbing, or even a goose biot. We're going to make sure that that D is on the top side, so when we wrap it forward, we have a nice hump segmented body. Wrap it forward, and we just cut up this excess tail, as well as the excess D-Rib. Just like that. Now we're going to wrap our body forward. This particular color happens to be rust, which is ideal for doing a rusty spinner. And that's just exactly the color we're going to be doing here. Let me just wrap it forward. I mean, you can, as I'm wrapping that, I can just see the humps just appear out of nowhere. And that's due to the D-rib, but also it definitely helps having a good light, like the Ot light, illuminating your materials just because it's daylight balanced. That way, whatever it looks like here, you're pretty well assured that's how it's going to look when you go outside. Next, we're going to tie in the wing case. For that, we're going to take some medallion sheeting. And this particular color happens to be olive brown, which is a fairly new color. And we're going to tie this wing case in just, just as if we were going to tie a nymph. Start on the side towards you, tie it in, and everything just rolls right up on top. Kind of molds around the hook shank. Next thing we're going to do is tie in our hackle. For that, we're going to use one of Whiting's hen necks. And since we're doing a spinner, when you get to the spinner stage, what happens, the, not on all the species, but on several of them, the legs actually get a lot longer. So I've selected a feather here that's more like a size 8 or even a 6 but we want that extra length just to so we bring the fly that much more to being natural than otherwise using a short one. With our thread in the middle of the thorax we're just slightly forward we're tying, tying the wings. For that for this purpose I'm going to use some light done medallion sheeting but if you want you can also use zing wing. The main characteristic for the wing on the spinner that you're going to want, something that, that is somewhat transparent with little color, kind of a haline color. And the light done sheeting works well as, as long with the uh, zing wing. Here again, to make life simple, we're going to come in, kind of pull and twist so we have that nice little tie-in point. Put it up to the hook shank, and tie it in, and we just pull on it a little bit there, pull them out of the way. Now we're ready for some dubbing. For the dubbing, what we're going to be using is some microfly dubbing. And since we're doing a rusty spinner, I'm going to select the red quill color. And that's the nice thing about this stuff. 
the colors have been specifically dyed to match just about every major hatch around the country, as well as go with some of Whiting's new dyed colors, the Blue Winged Olive, Pale Morning Dun, Calbatus, and March Brown, and some of the hand-selected biots that I have, as well as the D-rib and tubing. Now that we have our dubbing on here, I'm going to go through our thorax. Didn't have quite enough there, so we'll add a little more. And we're going to get that up there. There we go. Now we'll go around the wings a little bit. And when you come up in the front, kind of lay those wings back a little bit. And you can kind of maybe even lift it up a little bit. Remember, we're going to be doing a, a crippled spinner here. Pull those out of the way. Now what we'll do is we'll just take a couple turns of this long saw tackle. Again, I'm going to pull the wing back. Maybe we'll just pull this one up a little bit. Take a turn in the front. And we're going to tie that thing off. Make sure it's tied down good. Come in and snip that thing out of there. Again, we're just going to come in here, snip off the excess, or if you want, you can leave a few fibers. That way, when they're laid up against the wing, you get a, a hint of color, and it also just adds a little more venation to the wing. Now, with our thread up front and our hackle trimmed, we're going to bring our wing case over the top. What that does, it holds the wings down as well as the hackle. Tie it off. And we're going to snip off that excess. Make a nice little head there. And we're ready to whip finish this thing off. The thing about cripples is you can just take an, your ordinary dry flies and just kind of mangle it up a little bit and you have an instant crippled pattern. We're going to take our wings here and we're going to come in without grabbing our tails and tie it so it's just about the length of the body. That ought to do it right there. And we'll just round it off making, giving it more of an appearance of a mayfly. Always want to round them off a little bit. I've yet to see a mayfly that has squared off wings. And if you happen to take a little nick out of one, let's see if I can do it on purpose here. Or make one just a little bit more pointy or basically irregular versus the other one. That's what you want. That's the reason it's called a cripple. Now again, just take your finger, kind of stroke through it, and it kind of wrinkles it up a little bit. It puts, puts a nice little bend in there, kind of mangles it up. Now we can deal with this soft tackle. Just come in, pinch the whole fly. That's all you got to do is just pinch down. That displaces the fibers to the side. And if they're not quite all to the side and you have some underneath, just come in and just snip those things out of there. Just like so. And after you're done snipping, what you're left with is a crippled spinner. Mm -hmm.